my name is Joanne Green. I am the Director of Academic Computing at the National Defense University iCollege. And I'm Bob Kalawa. I am the Director of Educational Technology at the National War College, which is also part of the National Defense University. We started using Blackboard probably about 13 or 14 years ago, to be honest with you. Our college initiated using Blackboard and basically it was because it was in Washington, D.C. and I think we just had that connection. Because at the time, our, uh, the director of our particular college found, you know, saw that there was this need um, for distance education. So many people were flying in from all over the world to sit in our residence courses. Well, we have this capability, you know, let's get people trained up and using it and make sure that every course that we have in residence is all also represented completely online. So we have, we have folks who come to us for a, like a one-year program. It's a master's degree program. It's one year, 10 months. We have two colleges, really three, right, mm -hmm. that do that. At the National War College, there's 208 students a year that run into that program. Basically, all of our population is within the federal government. So folk, military, but, you know, any... Um, State Department. State Department, any federal extent. government agency. There are some people in our leadership that did recognize that we need to start accommodating our new um, student population. You know, these military mid-career officers are coming through and they have certain expectations. They come with their own stuff, their own skills. You know, they're, they're used to communicating, doing their business, um, taking previous courses completely online. We need to make sure that we meet them, we meet their expectations. Yeah. What's nice about Blackboard is that, so for the core courses, it's very standardized amongst all 208 students. They get the same readings, the same kind of classroom environment, they go to the same lectures. But what is, what's nice is that teachers, you know, the instructors can actually take advantage of some of those tools. And I'm able to kind of um, influence them a little bit with res in respect to Hey, so you're struggling with knowing whether or not the students are actually doing the readings. Yeah, I, really, you know, I feel like they're not prepared when they come to class. Well, why don't you set up a blog and, or a discussion board and put a question up the night before. And that lets the, you know, the faculty member who's a little less experienced than our older Title X faculty, who kind of know it when they see it, to be able to take something that's usually incredibly subjective, right? You know, are they prepared, are they participating? And make it very objective because now you have some measures. You're like, okay, did they participate in the discussion board? How did they participate in it? And then how did that lend itself to the kicking off the classroom experience? And actually, you start the classroom almost, you know, on chapter two. You know, you're, you've already done, you've already seen the first act, right. as it were. In terms of the tools specifically, we use Collaborate like crazy, um, either to do live sessions, uh, Snow days, there are no snow days. That's not, that doesn't happen. So if uh, campus is closed or the base is closed, um, it's expected that the students still report online either for instruction or um, to meet with a live session. Our faculty um, will do recorded sessions, um, you know, on their own and then make the link available to the students after the fact. So they'll, they'll incorporate a lot of media, voice, uh, sometimes camera, that's not all that important, but um, they found it very effective, especially in the DL courses. We don't use textbooks either, because all of our material, our curriculum is so original and specific to us. A lot of what we talk about and teach isn't actually even written in books, you know, in some instances. So they create a lot of their own material, so the use of Collaborate has kind of left them off the hook. So the best thing about it is that it's hosted outside of our network, right? and it's diacap, which means right. that our, we don't have to worry about anyone in, inside our network trying to turn it off. You know, and the connections that are, the connections between what the students need to get to and what, um, DOD type, you know, what do you call it? Oversight. Oversight, or had actually been minimized. Right. It used to be that there was a, to get to our library, to any of the resources there, they had to go through a proxy server, and that was resident on, on base. And that thing would go down. Blackboard actually gives us the ability to now have a really good archive of the materials that we're teaching and know where they are, what we taught, when we taught it, and it's, and it's sitting there. So we don't have to, you know, hunt through the hunt through the garage to find 
you know, where was that? Who taught it? It's, so it's great. You yeah. can, and you can just take that old horse and roll a new faculty member in it who's going to now own it and off you go.